Hey my cyber babies, welcome to the Mother Love Show right here on our own YouTube channel. This gentleman sitting next to me is Dale Hinman. He is the director of It's Magic, a show that's been going on for 60 years. They have a big event coming up October 29th. Tell us about the event and who's going to be on the show. It's it's a very exciting <clears throat> event. It's uh, October 29th at the Wilshire Bell Theater in Los Angeles. Um, it is a classic theater that was built in the 1900s and Milt Larson for the first, who's a producer of the show, performed the show there for the first 20 years. It's got seven, it's got ten different acts on the show. Mm -hmm. Everybody's family friendly. Every act is different. Um, you're not going to see the same trick that one magician does that another magician does. And we have um, some really exciting uh, acts for them, including an act that's never going to perform again. This is their last time ever performing. And uh, so we're really excited that they agreed to do that one song. And their, their swan song is going to be on your yeah, stage. Yeah, right. How right. about that? How do you go about selecting the magicians to do these shows to keep it fresh? Well, you know, we um, our co-producer, Terry Hill, keeps a very extensive list of who's been on what shows over the years. But what we wanted to do this year was we wanted to have people, everybody on the show, mm -hmm. that had been on the It's Magic show in years past. The exception to that is this up-and-coming magician named Alex Ramon, who um, was the Ringling Brother Barnum & Bailey Circus magician for several years. And he's a good-looking guy who does a very different style of magic. He does very avant-garde things, but he's an excellent performer, great personality. But isn't personality. that part of the criteria to be a magician? You've got to be good-looking? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> well, hopefully. <laughs> but he's going to... The other thing about it's magic was over the years we always introduced an act every year on the show. A new that, act that, that to would, get them to That was somebody okay. up and coming. Okay. Uh, one of the biggest successes of that was a, name, a man named Lance Burton who performed <gasps> magic. Who owned Las Vegas right. for and quite he, some time. And he was booked on It's Magic. Mm -hmm. And at the time, the art director for the Magic Castle was John Shrum, who was Johnny Carson's art director. Okay. So John, if, if Lance was performing on It's Magic, then... Uh, Johnny heard about Lance being on It's Magic, so uh -huh. he said, come on over and do the act. Now, in those on the days, Tonight Show? On the Tonight Show. Oh, cool. Now, in those days, you got maybe four minutes. Mm -hmm. His act was eight minutes. It was an award-winning act from Europe, and he did it in eight minutes. And Johnny watched the rehearsal, and he came out, and he said, give him the whole eight minutes. <gasps> First time. Like, you know, see, that's, that's, and that launched, that launched Lance's and career. And look how big he got. You're exactly. So, see, got Johnny Carson so you can know, make I mean, a break a career. And there were other people like that, mm -hmm. not to that extreme, but It's Magic always had some of the top performers that were out there, and some of them transitioned. Harry Anderson was on that show many times, and of course he had a long career in, in TV on Night Court and things like that. The judge on Night Court. Uh, uh, I know. know exactly who it is. That was yeah. one of my favorite And Dave's shows. World, he was in that. Mm -hmm. Great guy. So there's, you know, and we have a lot of famous magicians in the, in, in the Magic Hat. You know who I was surprised to find out who loves magic? Neil Patrick Harris. Right. Is a big magician fan. Well, and he actually does magic. He grew up in our junior magician program at the Academy of Magical Arts at the Magic Castle. So. I, I, see, you just never... Jason knew. Alexander from Seinfeld. And, and, he, is he, a great magician. He performed at the castle for a week, and he's, he's a wonderful magician. Brilliant actor, but a great magician also. So. So you just never know who well, loves Well, you know, there's an old axiom that was said years ago by Robert Houdin. He was a very famous magician, and he said, an act, a magician is an actor playing the part of a magician. <laughs> and that makes a lot of sense. It does. It really do because you have to be a stage performer to Correct. be able to keep people engaged in Correct. what you're talking about exactly. and what you're doing Correct. and what you're seeing. With this 24-7 um, uh, media, <clears throat> excuse me, that we have, mm -hmm. you know, how do you keep, and how will you continue to get younger people to come in to engage in magic? Are you seeing that? Yeah, you know, the last couple of years now, there's been a show on CW called Masters of Illusion. Uh, yeah. And it's getting great ratings, mm -hmm. and they're going to do another season of it again. Mm -hmm. They just finished a season, and they're going to do another season. I think that's part of it. It's, you know, um, getting, it's drawing young people in because they're getting to see it again mm -hmm. on a national television type thing. And so. getting to see it with fresh eyes and, and ooh, and, I want to do that. And young performers doing it. Mm -hmm. and, you know, there's some really great, in fact, our, um, our host is Justin Willman for the 29th show and he's the host of Cupcake Wars. 
Okay. And he is brilliant. A magician, uh -huh. a great host. You know, Who would have thought he's doing cupcake wars and he's a magician? Yeah, exactly. So you just never know. We're gonna take a break, and when we come back, I want to ask you about women in the magic and the world of magic. And to tell you, I love this jacket. Oh, thank you. And we'll be back. This is <laughs> nice.